In today's episode, I am showing you a super, super easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to download an SVG file or a font file, and then how to go about uploading and using those in Cricut Design Space on both a laptop as well as an iPad. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael, and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your Cricut and crafting channel, where I post Cricut tutorials and projects and inspiration every single week. So if you are new around here, well, then you are definitely going to want to go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never have to miss a single Cricut minute. Now today, you guys, I am doing a very, very highly requested video, and that is a tutorial on how to download SVG files and font files from designbundles.net or fontbundles.net. Now, just in case you have been sleeping under a rock, the last Wednesday of every single month, Design Bundles throws a huge $1 sales event. It's basically like a holiday in the crafting world. And on that day, for one hour only, they release 30 amazing packages or bundles that are $1 each. I'm talking bundles or packages that are normally like $40, you can get for a dollar. And likewise, a bundle that costs maybe $6, you can also get that for $1. It's really, really amazing. So if you have not yet checked that out, I will leave that for you linked down in that description box below. Now, inevitably, every single month after that $1 sales event is over, I get plenty, plenty of comments and messages all asking asking me how they can go about downloading those files from Design Bundles. And so today I am showing you exactly how to go about doing that. It's a super simple process that once I show you how to do it, then you got it, you're good. And you can download SVG files and font files to your heart's content. So to get things started, I am gonna show you how to do this on a Mac. And then a little bit later, I'm gonna show you how to do this on an iPad. Now here we are on designbundles.net, but if you were to do this on fontbundles.net, the process is identical. But what we're gonna do right now is head over right up here to our account. I'm gonna hover over our account where it says our name, and I'm gonna scroll down here and select purchases. And then here is all the purchases that we have made. So what I'm gonna do is actually click on, let's click on this Father's Day saw collection right here. I'm gonna click on download files. And as you can see right here, it pops up with the file that we can actually click on. And since I am using the Safari browser, it actually came up here towards the top right hand corner. Where this little arrow right here is. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna select our download just by double clicking it. All right, so by double clicking that, it went ahead and unzipped our files for us. Now, if you're on a Windows or like a PC computer, all you'll need to do is just right click your file and then select extract all files or open. And that should do the trick for you. All right, so now that this is unzipped for us, as you can see, you can click on it and then look at all the SVG files right here. What we can now do is head over here to Cricut Design Space, and I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side of Cricut Design Space and select Upload, and then select Upload Image, and then select Browse. And as you can see right here in our Downloads folder, here is our file. So all we need to do is double click that, and I'm gonna double click this 3D saw paper model, and here are our SVG files right here. So all I have to do is just select one of those, select open, and now it's gonna ask you to name your file. So I'm gonna leave that as 3D saw handles, and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select save. All right, so there is our recently uploaded image. All we have to do is select that, and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select insert images. And there we go. Pretty simple, right? So now what I want to do is actually show you how to go about downloading a font to use in Cricut Design Space. But before we head back over here to designbundles.net, I first want to completely close out of Cricut Design Space. And the reason for that is you wanna make sure that Cricut Design Space is completely shut down whenever you're downloading a new font. That way, whenever you reopen Cricut Design Space, it'll be refreshed and actually have that font in its library. So I'm completely just shutting this down and heading back over here to designbundles.net. So now I'm just gonna scroll down here through my purchases until I find a font collection that I'm wanting to use. And I think we're gonna use this one right here, the quirky font collection. So I'm gonna come over here and select download files yet again. And here is our zip file that contains those font files for us. So I'm gonna select that. 
And yet again, our downloaded file came up here towards the top right hand corner where this little download icon is. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna double click our font file right here. And here are all of our font files right here. So let me select this one right here, this Adora Charlie. I'm gonna double click that. And if you're on a Mac, this is what you'll see. So it's giving me the option right here to install the font. So I'm gonna select that. And there we go, it's now downloaded to our computer. So now all we need to do is actually reopen Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna select a new project. And I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side of the page, click on text, type in Mr. Crafty Pants. There we go. And now what I want to do is come up here towards the top left-hand corner, select font, then come over here to where these different tabs are for our font. So Cricut right here, this Cricut tab is basically all of the Cricut owned fonts. System is all the system owned fonts. So basically fonts that are downloaded to your system, to your computer basically. Or you can just click on all, which is just all those fonts combined in together. So what I'm going to do is just search for Adora. And here is our file right here. So I'm gonna select that. And there we go. There is our new font that we just downloaded. So I just showed you how to download an SVG file and a font file onto your computer. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the exact same thing, but on an iPad. So I'm gonna close down my computer right here. I'm just grabbing my iPad and we'll get started downloading our files here. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually download an app called iFont if you haven't done so already. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is come right over here to the App Store, select that. And then in the search bar right up here, I'm gonna type in I and then F-O-N-T, all one word for iFont. Then select search. And as you can see right up here at the top right hand corner, there is the iFont app. Now, since I already have this downloaded, that's why it says open. So you would just select that and then download it from there. And once you have that all downloaded, you can come back over here to Safari. And here I am on designbundles.net. So what I'm gonna do yet again is come up here towards the top right hand corner-ish <laughs> and select our name. And what you're gonna to want to do is actually hold down on your name just for a split second. And you'll see this little drop down menu up here. So I'm just gonna select on purchase or purchases rather. And here are all the files that we've downloaded. So what I'm gonna do is come right down here. I'm gonna select this family monogram bundle. So I'm gonna select download files. And then as you can see right here, just like before, our zip file right here popped open, or you can just select that. Now for iPad, it's actually asking you if you want to download it. So what we're gonna do is select download. And if you'll notice right up here at the top right hand corner, there's another little arrow pointing down. It's the download icon. And you'll see this little bar beneath it that is showing you the progress of your download. So once that bar is completely full, you can then click on that option, or you can go ahead and click on it now really and it's showing you how far along it is with the download. So now that that is currently downloaded, you can select that zip file and it's opening up right here in your downloads. So I'm gonna select that zip file just by tapping on it. And as you can see, it went ahead and unzipped that zip file. And here is our file right here, the family monogram bundle. So I can click on that and go through and look at all this. And here are our SVG files. We also have PNG files, JPEG files, all that stuff. So now what I want to do is come over here to Cricut Design Space, get that launched and ready. I'm gonna select a new project. And then down here at the bottom left-hand corner, there is this upload icon. So I'm gonna select that. Now this part is extremely important. You want to make sure that you select browse files since our SVG file is downloaded to our files folder. All right, so there we go. It went ahead and opened up our iCloud drive. So now I'm gonna select this little downloads folder right here. And right up here in that search bar, I'm just gonna type in family. And we are looking for the family monogram bundle, which is right here. So there's obviously multiple folders and you would need to go through and kind of take a look at all of them first to kind of see which one you're wanting to go after. So I'm gonna select that first one right here. And here are all the different types of files that you can download. Obviously, all we need right here is the SVG file. So I'm gonna select this option right here that says SVG. And if you then just tap on one of them, it's then gonna go about uploading that to Cricut Design Space. So I can just type in here family monogram and I'll put the number one. And then right up here at the top right hand corner, I'm gonna select save. And there it is in our recently uploaded images. So all we would need to do is just select that and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select insert. And there we go, so, so easy. So since we're not really using this today, I'm gonna to go ahead and select that and then delete that out. 
And now what I want to do is actually show you how to download a font to Cricut Design Space. So what I'm going to do is come back over here to Safari and I am just going to go through here and find a font file to use. So let's do this one right here, this handwritten font bundle. So yet again, I'm going to select this little green button that says download files. And then I'm going to click on this zip file right here. Again, it's asking us if we want to download this, which we do. So I'm going to select download. So I'm just going to select this little download icon and then select this zip file just like so. All right, so as you can see right here, it is at the top of our downloads folder. I'm going to select that and it jumped down here to another folder. So I'm going to select that right there. And here are all the fonts that are inside of that folder. So the sun ray, the sugar lemon, the spring bloom, all of them. So to preview them, you can actually just click on them. And you can also come up here to the top left hand corner where these three little lines and dots are. You can select that and then just select another one that you want to take a look at, just like so. You can come down here to the spring bloom if you want to. You get the idea. So once you find the font file that you're wanting to download to Cricut Design Space, all you'll need to do is come up here towards the top right hand corner where this little box is with the arrow pointing up out of it. I'm going to select that and then I want to swipe over on these files right up here towards the top just until I find copied iFont. So I'm going to select that and you'll then want to take a look over here on the left hand side of the page. You can kind of just scroll through these until you find the font that you're wanting to download. And for us, that is this one right here, the Spring Bloom. So right here next to that, you'll see where it says install. So I'm going to select that. And it's just letting you know that this website's trying to download a configuration. Do you want to allow this? Which we do. So I'm going to select allow. And now it says profile downloaded. Review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it. So that we do want to do. So I'm going to select close and I'm going to come over here to our settings app. And if you'll notice up here in the top left hand corner, this little profile downloaded option just became available. So I'm going to select that. And as you can see, there is our spring bloom regular style font right there. And right up here in the top right hand corner of this little box, you can just select install. You will then want to put in your code and then you will want to select install yet again and then install yet again. <laughs> they really want to make sure that you're wanting to download this font. Then all we want to do is select done. And there we go. So I did forget to close out Cricut Design Space before we went through and downloaded that font, which is all right. It's completely fine. All you'll want to do is swipe up on your iPad and then find the Cricut Design Space app that's open and then just swipe up on that. Then you can just tap anywhere else on the screen. And by doing that, you just completely closed out of Cricut Design Space. So now all we need to do is just relaunch it. That way it comes in refreshed with that new font in its library. So I'm going to open up Cricut Design Space yet again. I'm going to select new project. I'm going to come down here towards the bottom left hand corner and select text. And now I'm just going to look for that font that we just downloaded. So the default on here is it automatically opens up to the Cricut fonts. So I'm going to select system. And then for the search bar, I'm just going to type in spring. And there we go right there, the spring bloom. So I'm going to tap that and then we can just type in Mr. Crafty Pants. And there we go. I know that so many people are intimidated by the entire process of going through and downloading SVG and font files, but I promise you, promise you that once you do this once or twice, you will get the hang of it and it'll be like nothing. It'd be so, so easy. Now, obviously you can do the same process for downloading SVG and font files from almost any type of website. I mean, obviously it's gonna look a little bit different here and there, but that's basically the gist. That's basically everything that you're gonna to need to know to download an SVG or font file onto your laptop or desktop or your iPad. Now, as far as this highly coveted once a month for one hour only, $1 sale from designbundles.net. I will leave a link for you down in that description box below that explains all the information that you could ever want and then some, as well as a place to sign up for an email list where you can get notified every single month so you never have to worry about forgetting about this sale. Because really, this is like a Cricut or Silhouette users dream holiday. <laughs> It is so, so good. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please consider stamping that like button before you go, as well as stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that bell for all the notifications so that you never have to miss a single Cricut Minute. I am so immensely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.